All right, guys, so we just uh, took this off because we were gonna take it to him, but then he said he's not gonna be at the lot today. So um, he said Monday, but my dad, we bought a bunch of tools and we're just gonna do it, try to do it. So, uh, all right, guys, so we are down in here. The sensor is up there. We saw another guy on YouTube. He's like, oh, you can just put it on there and stuff. But no, let's see that green wire up there all up there oh all right so. guys so i'm under here i really have no room but as you guys can see it is where is it it's right there tip my finger let me just try to zoom in you guys see that thing that's sticking out that's that's the socket that's in it and that's the piece right there right right there and that's a piece that's sticking out. Now, if some this dude on YouTube was like, oh yeah, you can just stick the ratchet in there, you can loosen it. But if you try to stick a ratchet in there, it's gonna be 90 degrees, right? So my dad was able to get up top and he was able to see it, right? So he's, right now, it has to twist coming towards me, coming down, it has to twist, right? So we're gonna get a, a long extension or a hammer and hammer it down to loosen it. And once you loosen it, then Oh my god, there's so many flies. Once you loosen it, we would uh, just be able to loosen it and try to use a magnet and loosen it with a magnet. So uh, that's where we're at right now. I'm under, hopefully this stays up, hopefully. <laughs> All right guys, so uh, we hammered up top and now he's able to stick his hand up in there. I'm trying to get the light. Oh, it was so hilarious because he tried, uh, you guys really can't see. Oh, <laughs> He's got his hand stuck. He literally got his hand stuck. All right, guys. So I just came up under there. My dad' arms are uh, they're too big. My, my arms are a little bit smaller. So uh, I got in there and I just where's this? I got this and I was just moving it. Boom! I like I moved it like this, pulled it out, moved it like this, and a bunch of times we got it out. Whew. And this is definitely bad. As oh, you oh, this, oh, this builder. Yeah, that's that's bad for sure. Oh, wow. oh, I feel good now. I got a little dizzy because I was on my back for a while. But here's what I'm doing. Ooh, my camera's not even focusing. Look at the difference. Yeah, that's the difference right there. You guys can look, see. Look you can't that. even see the center hole. Nope. So, and the holes in the side. Uh, all of exactly. these are blocked up in here. This will be fun to get this back on. What's that? No, this That's, is uh, uh, yeah. anti collision stuff. Yep. All right. So we're about to get this back on. All right, guys. So we we're just taking a break for the day. We're going to get a fresh mine on it Sunday tomorrow morning. We got the sensor in there right now. We still have to start, uh, start threads on it. Not threads. All right, guys. So we just had the air compressor on. We, I uh, think the fuel issue, as you guys can see, it was smoking and stuff. So we think it's a fuel issue. I don't know if you guys can hear me over the air compressor. I think it's a fuel issue. So all we did pop these chairs up it's there's like a thing on the um side gloves all right can you give me some can you give me some can you get me some all right so on on the chairs that are over here there's just something like right here you pull that and then you can push up the entire chair both sides and then this carpet comes off so whenever you this compartment you lift up and then you pull it out and then this carpet comes out so we just bungeed it up top roped it Really all the dirt, it's a 10 millimeter over here and it's a T50, I and mean, there's two handles that go in the, over here. So those are two T50s. So you take those out, star T50 of course. And then you get 10 millimeters to the fuel tank. You didn't have to reserve the reserve pump right there, but. <laughs> all right guys, so we just opened this up. I don't open up. Um, we opened it up and the clip, I just pulled it out without pressing the clip in. My dad, we just we just put it back in, and let me show you guys real quick. Let me show you guys. We got the ignition on. Look at that, full tank of gas. So uh, yeah, I guess you know that. All right, guys, we just changed spark plugs. Super easy. Not that easy on the left side, but. Smoking, smoking, smoking. 
Lots. Lots of smoking. Oh. It's running smooth though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's running real smooth, guys. Yeah, it's still smoking a tad bit. Alrighty, guys. So we just changed spark plugs. Um, we went the cheaper route because that's the only one they had in stock. Because we wanted to get this video off for you guys. If you wanted to wait, it would have been tomorrow in the morning at 9.30 a.m. But we wanted to get this done for you guys. All right, we got the door ignition on. Door, okay, close the doors. Let's move into the cat here. Just nothing much. Does that sound like an exhaust leak? I don't know about that, but no. Yeah, it's running smooth. No lights, guys. Only light is seat belts. Fuel gauge is on. Got fuel on it. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. So, oh, it's smoking just a tad bit, but it's gonna burn that stuff, right? I don't know. It's. it's why you play with that? Sorry, sorry, I'm just excited with it. You guys, there's no cars on the screen, so we're kind of, it's not idling up and down too, it's just, it's trying to switch, so we're kind of taking it for a little test drive. Alright uh, guys, we just had a really quick pull in and do not enter, and I said engine was over, uh, temp, what? Pulling thermostat, temperature below temperature restriction. Huh. The thermostat is stuck in it. Darn it, one thing after the other. This is engine overheating, so. Darn it, one thing after the other. It's still Ooh, 244. Yeah, it's still really hot. It's not going down. It was guys, it was past the red even. No, it, it cooled down just a tad bit, but alright guys, so we got a little scare there. We stopped them at school. We, we even pulled into a do not enter. It's for the buses leaving. But we got home. It's running smooth, good to go. It says engine oil monitor fault, but I bet you that will go away after driving for a little bit. But that was because the thermometer was stuck closed. But now it's uh it's open. Thermostat. Thermostat, thermometer, same thing. But uh, it's open. I even I even heard it open. I heard it open. I, I heard water go through. So uh, and when it opened, it, it kept. Uh, and then we um, it went down to mid, right? We got uh, to the school. It went down to mid. We started up, and we like my was like, we just gotta go, right? And we went, and then halfway there, on the middle of the roads, in front of like a big party, there was a house like with the party. We had to turn the caution lights on. There was a bunch of cars behind us, and it went overheat. And we put it in neutral, uh, we, we put it in parking stop there, and I heard the thermometer open, or thermostat open, and it's gone, so uh, yeah. Alright guys, so we got some bad news, right? So uh, the other day I was playing one of my games, but I went outside to the, to the Land Rover because when we, when as you guys can see in the last clip, when we parked it, it started running rough a little. And, and my dad got cylinder for misfire, he opened that cylinder up. Not cylinder, but took out the glow plug. And when he took out the glow plug, he uh big hole in the cylinder. Now I wish I had the video of it, but I was inside and it was outside, so yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, I took that thing, turn that connected. So we got a number four and I just hooked up already. Hooked up already. Good to go. Lights are hold up. They're not working. Huh? Oh, the lights in the car are not. Oh, they are. I know. Yes, it's working. All right. Winch is tight. So we're about to go load this up, take it to Copart. You guys can bid on it. What's wrong with you guys? Need to change the piston. That's it. Just the piston. We diagnosed it. A piston that was like $125. Labor, $1,000.
it wouldn't cost anything over fifteen hundred dollars for someone to do it have someone to do it if you guys do it yourself you'd probably cost two hundred dollars just to fix it so if you guys want to bid on it um it's going in columbus i'll uh see if i can give you guys the number but it's a good car runs good just because i misfired but i'm about to go drive this up there and i'll show you guys me loading up right guys so i'm gonna put the ramps down Both. Both. <laughs> One has a little higher than the other. Let's see. So we got the rest. We got the sheet metal on the bed. So we can take that to the shop. Right. Both of them are down on the way. This one's down on the way. Lights are on, so uh, I'm about to uh, wait for my dad. And we're going to go load it up. I know, you should suck the gas out of it. Wait until it idles down and then go. Okay. No. He doesn't have a code to the gate, does he? He doesn't? All right. Good. Go left a little bit. Yeah, come on. All right. Keep going. Come on. All right, that's good. All right, guys, so we just loaded it up as you guys can see, and we're about to head to Cold Park. Go ahead, easy. Ah, that's good! <laughs> 